Good morning, child of God. Time for us to open our Bibles, crack open God's Holy Word, reflect on the Scripture passages from the Holy Sacrifice of the Mass. We do it every day here on Seize the Day. Also do it on my YouTube channel, which I then share to my Facebook page, and my website, GusLloyd.com, where I write a little 60-second reflection each and every day. Today, my reflection is called Be Like Tobit. Because our first reading today is from the book of Tobit. Now, Tobit is a book that is in the Catholic Bible, probably not in a Protestant Bible, unless it includes what's known as the apocryphal or deuterocanonical books. It's a great book, though, and a great story. So we're going to begin the story of Tobit today, reading from Tobit chapter 1 and chapter 2. I, Tobit have walked all the days of my life on the paths of truth and righteousness. I performed many charitable, work, charitable works for my kinsmen and my people who had been deported with me to Nineveh in Assyria. On our festival of Pentecost, the Feast of Weeks, a fine dinner was prepared for me, and I reclined to eat. The table was set for me, and when many different dishes were placed before me, I said to my son Tobiah, My son, go out and try to find a poor man from among our kinsmen exiled here in Nineveh. If he is a sincere worshiper of God, bring him back with you so that he can share this meal with me. Indeed, son, I shall wait for you to come back. Tobiah went out to look for some poor kinsmen of ours. When he returned, he exclaimed, Father, I said to him, what is it, son? He answered, Father, one of our people has been murdered. His body lies in the marketplace where he was just strangled. I sprang to my feet, leaving the dinner untouched, and I carried the dead man from the street and put him in one of the rooms so that I might bury him after sunset. Returning to my own quarters, I washed myself and ate my food in sorrow. I was reminded of the oracle pronounced by the prophet Amos against Bethel. All your festivals shall be turned into mourning and all your songs into lamentation. And I wept. Then at sunset, I went out, dug a grave, and buried him. The neighbors mocked me, saying to one another, He is still not afraid. Once before he was hunted down for execution because of this very thing. Yet now that he has scarcely escaped, here he is again burying the dead. The word of the Lord from Tobit chapters 1 and 2. It is our first reading in today's Mass. You know, my 60-second reflection today at GusLloyd.com is entitled, Be Like Tobit. And in my on my Facebook page, I shared what are called the corporal and spiritual works of mercy. Why? Because Tobit decided that he needed to bury this dead man, his kinsman, and burying the dead is one of the corporal works of mercy. Do you know what these works of mercy are? Well, let me just share them with you here real quickly. The corporal works of mercy are to feed the hungry, give drink to the thirsty, clothe the naked, shelter the homeless, visit the sick, visit the imprisoned, and bury the dead, just like Tobit did. And the spiritual works of mercy admonish the sinner, instruct the ignorant, counsel the doubtful, comfort the sorrowful, bear wrongs patiently, forgive all injuries, and pray for the living and the dead. Those are the corporal and spiritual works of mercy. So in my reflection today, called Be Like Tobit, I say that we should be like Tobit, engaging in these corporal and spiritual works of mercy. Amen? Today's responsorial from Psalm 112, Blessed the man who fears the Lord. Blessed the man who fears the Lord, who greatly delights in his commands. His posterity shall be mighty upon the earth. The upright generation shall be blessed. His generosity shall endure forever. Light shines through the darkness for the upright. He is gracious and merciful and just. Well for the man who is gracious and lends, who conducts his affairs with justice. He shall never be moved. The just man shall be in everlasting remembrance. And the response again, Blessed the man who fears the Lord. From Psalm 112, our responsorial in today's Mass. And our Gospel passage today is Mark 12, 1 through 12. Jesus began to speak to the chief priests, the scribes, and the elders in parables. A man planted a vineyard, put a hedge around it, dug a wine press, and built a tower. Then he leased it to tenant farmers and left on a journey. At the proper time, he sent a servant to the tenants to obtain from them some of the produce of the vineyard. But they seized him, beat him, and sent him away empty-handed. Again, he sent them another servant, and that one they beat over the head and treated shamefully. He sent yet another, whom they killed. So too many others. Some they beat, others they killed. He had one other to send, a beloved son. He sent him to them last of all, thinking, They will respect my son. 
But those tenants said to one another, This is the heir. Come, let us kill him, and the inheritance will be ours. So they seized him and killed him and threw him out of the vineyard. What then will the owner of the vineyard do? He will come, put the tenants to death, and give the vineyard to others. Have you not read this scripture passage? The stone that the builders rejected has become the cornerstone. By the Lord has this been done, and it is wonderful in our eyes. They were seeking to arrest him, but they feared the crowd, for they realized that he had addressed the parable to them. So they left him and went away. The Gospel of the Lord from Mark chapter 12, our Gospel reading in today's Mass. Let's start our day with a prayer, shall we? Father, we love you. We thank you for your word in our heart. And Lord, we pray that today and every day you will help us to be more like Tobit, who even though he was being hunted down for doing the right thing, the corporal works of mercy, he did it anyway. Help us to have that same attitude. In the mighty name of Christ Jesus, the Lord, we pray. Amen and amen. In the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Hey, thanks so much for tuning in. So honored to have you here, and I hope you get something out of these every day. Remember, today, be like Tobit. Blessings to you and yours. Bye-bye for now.